with me is uh, Dr. Mohak Narang. Dr. Mohak Narang has achieved rank 10 in AIMS May 19. He also got rank 48 in PGI this year. So, congratulations Mohak. Thank you so much sir. Um, uh, we, this, I think we can take this opportunity to ask Mohak how was his preparation strategy. So, Mohak, you prepared, you are in 2013 batch, isn't it? Yes, from AMC. Yes, sir. Um, so, Mohak is an MBBS from AMC, uh, Maulana Azhar Medical College. It was a very prestigious institute and uh, I am very hopeful that he will do wonders when he reaches Ames. Thank you so much. Um, Mohak, can yeah. you tell our students how did you prepare uh, while you were in first year, second year, third year and so on? Sir, since first year, uh, for the first and second year, my main target was to read the standard textbooks. Okay. Right, even in third year, like uh, especially in second year when you have KDT, Katzung, mm -hmm. Robbins. Mm -hmm. So, it's very essential to read the important topics from the book. Like I haven't read the entire cover to cover Robbins, but definitely the important things which come, like every chapter there are some very important topics mm -hmm. which our seniors used to tell us. Mm -hmm. So, those topics I have read from Robbins, okay. even from Let's KDT talk about the first year ones, like uh, from the first year, uh, which books did you follow? So, Ganong for Physiology. Okay. And for Biochemistry, we used to have... Um, Harper? Harper, yes okay. sir. Harper for Biochemistry mm -hmm. and BDC for Anatomy. Wonderful. So, uh, like, did you make your own notes or did you follow some uh, other notes? What did you do? So, for first year, when I was in first year, I was not uh, exposed to the coaching notes uh -huh, as okay. such. Mm -hmm. So, I used to read only standard textbooks and mm -hmm. whatever classes we used to, lectures we used to have in college, only those notes which was were the things I used to study. Okay, okay. But in second year, when I started doing coaching mm -hmm. and there were those notes, mm -hmm. I could keep those notes alongside of the textbook okay. and then I could make Understand out what the important topics are there. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, okay, sir. wonderful. So, like in second year, you read um, uh, Pathology of Robbins, you yes, read sir. Katzung, isn't it? Yes, sir. Katzung and Kiriti, both, both of them. Like okay. some chapters from here, yeah. some chapters. Okay. So. Could you tell me, tell us like what are the important uh, topics you read from Katzung in uh, Pharmacology? So, Cardiology, ANS. Okay. So, CVS, ANS, these okay. were the So, basically, because topics. many of the second year are watching us, uh, I believe that two topics, ANS and CVS, are very important from Katzung. So, you may want to read those up. Uh, top, what toppers say is the golden words. I think we should all follow that. I came to the third year, uh, Mohak. Yes, so, so, I have read uh, Parks for PSM, definitely, mm -hmm. because uh, PSM is really important, mm -hmm. especially statistics is very much asked in central institutes okay. like Ames. Other than that, for ENT, there was Dhingra okay. and for ophthalmology, there was a uh, book Kurana. by Dr. Khurana. Khurana, okay. And uh, I think uh, there's a big question here. Uh, many of you will go in the third year and then you would be given a big book, Harrison's, and would be telling, the seniors will tell you, read from this, <coughs> everything you can read it. Uh, tell me very frankly, what did you do? You, did you had Harrison? How much you read Harrison's? Sir, I've read, uh, like, I've definitely read coaching notes for medicine. Okay. And on that, I used to read Harrison, whatever I liked. Okay. So, for especially the basic part mm -hmm. like murmurs, mm -hmm. cough, palpitations, mm -hmm. there are these specific topics from Harrison, which you should read clinically also mm -hmm. to know what DDs you can have in what patients. And then there was this book in medicine called as Washington Manual of Medicine. Okay. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful book okay. and I totally abide by that. So, book. you took that as a textbook? So, uh, especially during like, uh, just before profs, there are some specific topics like mm -hmm. the management part mm -hmm. of Washington manuals is amazing okay. for MI, for stroke, mm -hmm. for dyselectrolemias, for well, it's what acid base balance is amazing okay. in okay. Washington. And what was surgery? I used to read Bailey, sir. Bailey. Only Bailey or you did? Bailey and coaching notes. Coaching notes. Okay. Wonderful. And um, for Ops Gynae? Ops Gynae, I just read coaching notes. Sir. Coaching notes only. Okay, yes, good. And um, uh, for pediatrics, what did you do? So, Ghai and Ghai is the, the golden yes, book, sir. isn't it? Yes. Okay. Uh, and what are the short subjects, uh, Mohak? So, short subjects, uh, I've read some books mm -hmm. and just coaching notes. Coaching notes, okay. So, like, um, so you did um, your MBBS from MAMC and you, uh, we all know MAMC has a hectic uh, internship schedule. Yes, sir. So, how did you, do you plan your internship preparation at that time? So, uh, it's like, it's it's really tough being a uh, being an intern in mm -hmm. Mamsi to come after 12 hours of duty and still exactly. study. But then, uh, after like April or May, I started preparing and I was like, now I need to. Uh, luckily for me, my heavy internship was in the first half of the year and mm -hmm. the second half of the year was comparatively better. Okay. So, I could study during the lighter parts, mm -hmm. but uh, then again, you, you have to study, there is no other option. Exactly. So, uh, like, uh, when did you finish your first preparation, first uh, revision that time in internship? 
so like <laughs> completing the syllabus is a myth <laughs> <laughs> you can good. never complete the syllabus so but yeah definitely before aims november last year mm-hmm. i had gone through the major chunk as much possible as i could okay. like because i started late mm-hmm. in april or may may to november how whatever i could study i i had studied during that part okay. and then there were some topics which i st- continued that first revision only mm-hmm. till december january and then the second is from february to may this year okay, okay i've just read and what the grand tests uh, you would do appear Yes sir from time to time like depends uh, when whenever i used to get time during internship because it was very difficult for me to give a grand test and then to read the theory also because uh-huh. giving a grand test is not enough oh, yeah. you need to go through the answer key also mm-hmm. well and why this is the answer and not mm-hmm. the other mm-hmm. thing is the answer so i i could give only a limited number of grand tests okay. just because i was more concerned on the theory part okay uh, mohak i am being asked by many of the students <coughs> suppose they have say 100 questions on the grand test okay out of those 100 you have marked say 50 Mm. Uh, correctly okay so about the rest 50 you have marked 25 wrong and you haven't marked the rest 25 so what did you do for the rest in the main 50 you have marked correctly mm. what did you do for the first 25 and other 25 how did you do plan the whole grand test so uh, if there were 25 questions which i could not could mark not, yeah that must have been an update or something which i don't didn't know at all not all okay so that was something i had to add to my notes mm-hmm. and this is something which i must take care that if this is being asked this is important and i must make a note of it okay then the things which i had marked wrongly were the ones where i had to go back to the text okay that why did i mark mm-hmm. it wrong and then why did i think that the other answer was better than this answer okay so that is how i approached the wrong and the question that i did not do other than correct questions to we generally scroll, uh, we scroll through we exactly. all scroll through mm-hmm. and read the added information whatever mm-hmm. was given in the okay. answer case w- what what role does a mcq guide book play in your preparation so i haven't really followed a lot of, lot of guide M- mcq guide books personally okay. but okay. that is uh, recommended for some people who like to do that well, i was more that. concerned about theory and i've done yeah. uh, very limited number of questions for practice One and that actually worked for me since the pattern changed exactly yeah about the pattern yes about the new pattern of aims if you know friends uh, the aims pattern is a bit changing this year what they did was there 151 uh, answer 150 151 yeah. answer and the rest 50 were divided into 10 10 10 so some of them were fill in the blanks so the match the column sequencing were all those there yes, so mm, your advice to the students who are preparing should they prepare it differently or let it so come like th- so the topics remain the same mm-hmm. the questions are not coming from any another planet it's mm-hmm. just that the factual questions have increased because okay. they have to give match the followings they have to give true false mm-hmm. that cannot be given as a clinical vignette yeah. mm-hmm. so a major chunk of the exam was factual also this okay. time because mm-hmm. they have to manage time also yes. mm-hmm. because one question now consists of five questions which are mm-hmm. true false true false so you have to mark them correctly mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. the time management has also come into play now yes. even more and uh, you need to know your theory really well really well exactly and uh, any final uh, n- uh, thoughts on to your because most of the okay so we have some questions also uh, what what book did you prefer for medicine management so i told i think he has told about the washington's, washington's manual. manual so that according to uh, dr mohak is a wonderful book and i believe the approach part you read from harrison's first part isn't yes, it sir. yes sir okay wonderful so friends we are also live if you want to ask any question from dr mohak the topper of aims this time you are very more than welcome to ask us okay in between that i would like um, to ask dr mohak any uh, else advice to the second years who are uh, watching us or the third year who are watching us right now uh, regularly attend your clinics and whatever you see over there make it a point to come and read from your notes as well as standard, standard textbooks okay. because once you look at a patient and once you memorize or look at him what are the features of cld you will never forget them wonderful i think uh, this also uh, under- makes makes us understand friends like uh, many of us w- uh, worry about lot of the image based questions but yes, ultimately sir. understand we are doctors and we should see a patient with, the, with before you tell about that so don't worry about uh, uh, images i think images is what makes us stronger yes sir it should make you more confident okay now you have seen the question let's answer it so how did you uh, tell uh, how did you approach the images anyhow so for histology of a pathology mm-hmm. definitely there were some things like some facebook platforms mm-hmm. which you need to follow because they are like you yourself mm-hmm. put so mm-hmm. many questions yeah. so you have to for for histology and pathology mm-hmm. you must practice a lot of questions mm-hmm. but other than that clinical exams and especially these tests which they are asking like mm-hmm. clinical examination most of it is from clinics only clinics only okay it's so i, I don't think there is anything to worry about the images also if you have read uh, a textbook 
and most importantly, I went to Dr. Mohak. You have attended the clinics. Yes, sir. So that is the crux of the entire story. Yes, sir. Uh, any final thoughts to our friends? Um, there will be days of highs and lows, and they there are there, and they have been there, and they will be there. But never lose hope and keep going. Keep going. Yes. So thanks, Dr. Mohak. Thanks and congratulations again. Thank you so Thank much, sir. Thank you.